Hey guys, welcome back to week three of my Learn to Hack series, where every day I show you a new concept or tool that is used in ethical hacking. This week we covered web directory enumeration, finding hidden pages through robots.txt, setting up a PHP reverse shell, and we started exploring the damn vulnerable web app, or DVWA, that comes pre-installed on the Metasploitable 2 server. If you'd like to follow along, you can set up the same lab that I'm using in the video by watching this video that I made on my channel. If you like this sort of content or you find it useful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. With all that, enjoy the video and happy hacking. When we're pen testing a web server, it's important to find as many web pages and directories as we can, because any one of them could have a vulnerability that we could use to get a foothold. Sometimes these web servers will have hidden pages that are only meant to be seen by developers or IT staff for things like administration. One way we can discover these directories is through a tool called Fuff. Fuff is a web fuzzer that we can supply a URL and a word list to try and discover common or hidden web directories. We can run the command fuff-w and then our word list, in this case we're going to be using the directory list 2.3 medium.txt, which is located in user, share, word list, sec list, discovery, web content. And then after our word list, we're going to do a colon fuzz, which basically tells fuff to use every line in that word list as a directory to check in our fuzz. And then dash u and the URL that we're trying to fuzz, in this case http 10.0.2.4. And we want to add slash fuzz to the end of that to let fuff know that that is where the content of our word list is going to be input. And then do a dash ic to ignore any comments that are in that word list. So this command is going to look for every line in our word list file and append it to the HTTP 10.0.2.4 web server to see if the web server responds without an error. After running the command, you can see we found pages like test, tiwiki, index, tikiwiki, php info, and php my admin. Last video, we fuzzed for hidden web directories using fuff. Another tool that we can use that does a similar thing is GoBuster. GoBuster is a directory file and DNS busting tool that we can use instead of fuff to discover hidden directories on a web server. To run GoBuster, we can type the command GoBuster dir, which puts it in directory mode, dash u and then the URL of our web server, dash w and then the path of our word list, and then dash t and the number of threads we want to run for the scan. So in our example, I'll use GoBuster dir, dash u, http 10.0.2.4, slash w, user share word list, dirv, big.txt, dash t50. And as you can see, we found many hidden directories on our Metasploitable 2 server. We could then check out those directories in a web browser to see if we find anything interesting. If we just visit the index page or default page of our Metasploitable 2 server, we'll see some of the directories that we discovered in our Fuff and GoBuster scans. Another easy way to discover web pages that the developer probably doesn't want you to know about is by checking the robots.txt file. The purpose of the robots.txt file is to manage how search engines and web crawlers can access the website, and oftentimes if we check the robots.txt file of a website, we'll be able to find interesting pages such as admin portals and other sensitive pages. To see an example of this, let's go to the matilde slash robots.txt file to see the robots.txt file of the matilde website on our Metasploitable 2 server. Here we see multiple directories that the web crawlers are not allowed to crawl. This includes the directories passwords, config.inc, classes, javascript, OWASP bsapi php and documentation. The passwords directory sounds interesting, so let's check it out. In the passwords directory, we're brought to a listable directory with an accounts.txt file in it. And inside that accounts.txt file, we see multiple usernames and passwords, and what looks like to be security question answers for some user accounts on the web page. In your pen testing and CTF journey, you'll come to realize that one of the most common and best ways to get a foothold on a machine is through a reverse shell. A reverse shell is an executable or script that connects back to a listener on our Kali machine that will give us a terminal prompt on the server that executes it. Basically, we get a shell that we can run as many commands on as we'd like on the target web server until the connection is broken. A reverse shell is preferred over a bind shell because reverse shells have an easier time bypassing firewalls due to the connection originating from the victim server. Many web applications are written in PHP, including the ones that will be attacked in future videos, so it will be handy to have a PHP reverse shell script on our Kali box that we can use to gain remote code execution on our Metasploitable 2 server. We can get a nice PHP reverse shell from pentestmonkey.net by going to https pentestmonkey.net slash tools slash web shells slash php dash reverse dash shell. Alternatively, we could go to the Pentest Monkey GitHub and into their php reverse shell repository and copy or download the php reverse shell.php file. I'm going to download the php file from the GitHub page by clicking this download raw file button and I'm going to rename this file to shell.php for simplicity. Now we must open the reverse shell file in a text editor of our choice and I'm going to use Visual Studio Code but you can use whatever you want. Once it's open, if we scroll down a little bit, there are two lines that we have to change to get it to work on our system. The first line is this IP address, which we want to set to the IP address of our Kali Linux box. In my case, it will be 10.0.2.5. The second thing we want to change is the port, which we can pick any port between 1024 and 65535, as these ports do not require pseudo privileges to open. I will choose port 5555. 
Once that is done, any PHP web app that runs this PHP file will connect back to our Kali Linux IP address over port 5555 and give us a reverse shell. An awesome web application that comes installed on the Metasploitable 2 server that we can practice our hacking techniques on is the Damn Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA. We can access the DVWA by going to the IP address of our Metasploitable 2 server and then slash DVWA. When we go there, we're met with a login page that we can log in using the credentials admin password. Once we're logged in, we're met with a home page and we can see a bunch of different tabs on the left that correlate to different attacks. Each tab is a separate web page that we can practice that hacking technique on. For example, if we click on the command execution tab, we can see that we have an input bar that is asking for an IP address for us to ping, and the goal would be to get remote code execution on the server through this input bar. We can go down to the DVWA security tab and lower or raise the difficulty of the attacks by changing the security level. We could also enable PHP intrusion detection system to increase the difficulty of getting our exploit to run. For these demonstrations, we're going to set the security level to low and hit submit, and you can see that this is reflected in the bottom of the web page as well. Feel free to try out any of the tabs on the damn vulnerable web app before I cover them in a future video.